Welcome tubers to sewing machine having a stitch shifter here. I got never showed this. Uh, this is my 80 by 100 inch Confederate battle flag I made out of uh, duck canvas. It's also an excellent dog and couch cover. You can get a couple dogs on there and just cover them right up. And, uh, it's uh, like I said, canvas duck canvas and this is double embroidered stars I had to learn how to do this all by myself and it's a uh, five piece star or six piece star it's got a center and five points on there and like I said I had to learn while I was doing it so some of them are not quite perfect but by the time I got down to the end they were getting pretty darn good and they um, you know look like they're absolutely done on a computer machine so I learned about how to cut these pieces and all that, but that's uh, uh, I think I, oh, six yards of material I've got in that all together and um, over 180 some pieces because like I said it's double sided so um, everything that's on one side, each six piece star, 13 on each side and then um, you know everything's doubled and this uh, border edge that I put on here has got like eight rows of stitches on it and um, it's uh, four layers thick it's doubled over on each side so it's a total of four layers thick and then so where it meets in the corners it's eight layers thick and then where the corners meet over these uh, the white bands on there it's up to like uh, eight layers thick I think or ten layers thick there's a few places where it's really thick and I sewed all that on my FOF 332 and it did a great job even with that really super heavy thread. See that a little better. It's a very heavy thread. But anyways, I was going to show my, um, probably my rarest machine here. Let me get my tripod out. Okay, here we are. There we are. Welcome once again. Sewing machine heaven. I had to show this because I've been looking around and I have haven't seen any Russian sewing machines. And uh, this is my Russian made sewing machine. Where is the I got the manual here somewhere. What do I do with it? Anyways, look down here. See it's got a little sticker right there. Made in USSR. That is my, so that is my Jones hand crank. I think it's 1970s or so. Let's get the manual here. All right. Tells you how to set the needle and all that good stuff. I guess I could photocopy this and put. Uh, shots of it in there. That's going to be a lot of work though. I'll show it like this first. This tells you basically all the normal stuff you'd see in a regular any manual from uh, this type of machine. Oh yes and this type of machine is as you can see here it's uh, what's known as I believe a 99 clone. It's a singer. It's got the, well here, I've got one right here. We can take a look at it. Oh god, it's a little bit heavier. But it's the same machine as this. This is a little dusty. It was laying out in the garage. And, uh, but that's it. Basically the same machine. Right down to the uh, little hole underneath here where the oil drain is and the bobbin and everything in the, on the side, the little metal, thin metal tab under there that holds the bobbin in. Oh, let me set that one down. I think this one's a lot lighter for some reason. But it's got the same thin metal tab holding the bobbin in is the singer. It's just, here look underneath that one. And 
That one's basically the same identical thing. Yep. Just about the same. It is the same identical thing. So, yeah, it's a 99 clone and it's made in Russia and it, it actually sews really well. It was a little bit froze up, but I put some oil on it and just like that. And that's the way they did it in Russia in the 70s, I guess. Or actually, this uh, the paperwork on here says this. It's in English, and it's got a uh, letter in here that says it went to the Jones Sewing Machine Company Limited, Shelby Street, Guidebridge, uh, Manchester, Audenshaw, Manchester. It's got a telephone number on there and everything. We should try calling that see what happens. And it's got a little sewing machine advisory. Department R, service and vintage of sewing problem arising. Oh, you see, he had a number you could call back, I guess. And it's uh, Jones Brother. I guess Jones and Brother Company or, um, combined or something. Here's a lifetime better sewing with Jones. This also came with it. And it's got little diagrams and tells about cleaning and the needle plate and all that stuff and bobbin case, it's just general, you know, the same kind of information, how to tension the bobbin thread. And that's very much oh here's some different oh how to load the needle or get the right needle in there. Uh, some funky looking needles. I'll have to read up on that. But uh, that came with it, and it's got a couple other little pieces of paper here. Simple sewing instructions from Jones' brother. And that's just a little one-sided pamphlet thing there. Nothing on the back. And then uh, instructions for fitting the hand attachment of your sewing machine. Tells you how to take the screw out of the side down here and, I guess, detach it for whatever reason. Oh, it's got a chrome chrome knob in the picture, but uh, oh yeah, it's another thing I'd show. Unlike the old English made Jones from back in the 20s, the later model produced in Russia has a chintzy plastic kind of a gear drive. The little arm here where it locks in is plastic. The little lock wheel in here is plastic. The handle, it's, and it's I mean, it works. It works pretty good, but it's really kind of chintzy compared to the old, you know, the real one here. We're going to click that up out of the way. And then you click that back down like that, and it grabs the wheel. Yeah, that's, that's the real deal there. That's what a, a real hand crank looks like. It's not that stamped out thing that you see on eBay for $15. That's a real hand crank. This is more of the thing you see on eBay where it's a stamped out bent piece of steel. The whole thing is kind of rickety too. And not because that's loose. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the Russian-made machine that I have. The only Russian machine I've actually ever seen. And oh, in the groundbreaking video here, I think this is the first Russian sewing machine actually on YouTube. August 31st, 2011. Stitch Shifter, thank you for joining us.